Welcome to footballgameplan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, bring you our 2014 NFL Draft Special. We're going inside the war room with the Oakland Raiders. We're going to take a look at their team needs to see what players could be possible selections to help fill those needs. But first, let's start off by taking a look at the upcoming picks that they have in this year's draft. The Raiders were very active in free agency trying to add talent to the roster and they entered the 2014 draft with six selections and a great opportunity to add more. Now where they have to get better, the Raiders have to add offensive threats, more in particular at wide receiver. They also have to add a quarterback despite having a young talent in Terrell Pryor that actually gives them a competitive and schematic advantage. They want to move on from him and go with Matt Schaub, which is a downgrade in my honest opinion. So yes, another quarterback is definitely needed. I'd also look at the defensive side of the football where they can add youthful impact players at every level. Now here are some quick notes to keep in mind when watching this video. These picks are based off my own rankings of these prospects using my own big board and my own prospect rankings. And this is the Raiders portion of my total seven round mock draft. And to view my mock drafts for other teams and my big board and prospect rankings, visit the website footballgameplan.com slash draft. I also have to comment that this is not indicative of where I think these players will actually go in this year's draft. In the first round, I'm taking Sammy Watkins out of Clemson, who's an instant impact type player. And one of those guys you can honestly say can score from anywhere on the field. And it would immediately add a game breaker to that Raiders offense. Charles Woodson can't play forever, and even so, safety Jimmy Ward out of Northern Illinois would actually be an upgrade with his speed, his range, his cover skills, and tackling ability, which will allow defensive coordinator Jason Tarver the flexibility of moving Woodson all around the defense. The Raiders get a steal here in round three with Florida defensive tackle Dominic Easley. Easley is coming off an ACL injury, but prior to that, he was having his best season as a Gator and would be a first round type talent added to the defensive interior. The way this mock draft fell for the Raiders, they get their quarterback in round four with Jimmy Garoppolo out of Eastern Illinois. Garoppolo is a guy with good mobility and a quick release that could operate very well in what Greg Olson wants to do offensively. I'm a big fan of EJ Gaines out of Missouri at 5'10", 190 pounds. Here's a guy that excels in off coverage and has excellent read and recognition skills. And when you look at him, top to bottom has good all around game. Rounding out the Raiders draft, I selected defensive end Ethan Westbrooks out of West Texas A&M, a Division II program. Westbrooks plays the run very well because he's excellent at the point of attack. He's also a power rusher that uses his hands very well to get to the quarterback, and he also provides good versatility because he's comfortable playing in space. Recapping my Raiders mock draft, I think I was able to increase the athleticism, the explosiveness, and the game-breaking ability on both sides of the ball with the first three selections while also adding a quarterback in round four with Jimmy Garoppolo and two solid depth guys defensively with Gaines and also Westbrooks. And I also want to give a huge shout-out to Raider fan forums for always showing football game plan support. <laughs> 